For this video, uh, the exercise mainly are about mobility to move the low back and then your thoracic spine and a little bit of your hips uh, to help with your low back pain. Okay. So to start off with, we are going to do a cat and cow and some variation of it. Okay. So I'm just going to perform a standard cat and cow first. This is a standard cat and cow. What I want from you all is to uh, do a segmental mobility starting from the uh, lower lumbar all the way into the thoracic. And I want you to feel uh, one vertebrae by vertebrae uh, slowly moving down one by one and then slowly moving upwards one by one. Try to have a mind connection with uh, your spine and move it vertebrae by vertebrae so you can feel it opening and feel the facet closing as well. So this is how it looks like. So I engage my lower lumbar first. So I pull my belly down towards the ground and then slowly moving on towards my mid spine and then my upper spine pulling the front of my chest all the way into the ground as far as I can. So with a little bit of retraction of your shoulder blades and then follow by your neck. And then you're going to reverse it by coming up with your lower back. So vertebrae by vertebrae. So try to go slow so you can have a connection. Try to feel the spine opening and closing. There's no point going so fast without feeling all this motion. So the exercise purpose is about bringing awareness to our spine mobility. And then you're just going to do that a few times, maybe eight to 10 times. It's all about going slow, feeding each vertebrae by vertebrae from the lumbar spine, going to the middle spine. And remember to always pull your chest down towards the ground. It's about awareness, connection. So, so far what we have been doing is uh, to move uh, the erector spine to stretch and close it as well as move the spine. Now we are going to focus our attention more towards the multifidus, the smaller muscles in our back. And with this exercise, I want you all not to move the thoracic you're only going to engage more of your pelvic and your lower spine so try not to move the neck and just a little bit movement in the thoracic the main focus is in the lower lumbar and pelvic area we are just going to activate the multifidus in the lower segment of the spine okay so how you do it is the same as the cat and cow but your focus is just on your pelvic and more towards the lumbar spine and not moving so much of your thoracic spine. So it's a very small movement, just moving the lower back. And once you feel it that this is for me, uh, I can't go down without moving too much of my thoracic spine. I'm now going to go back upwards with my lumbar. So again, it's about having a mind to body connection, just activating the lower segment of the spine. And you 
we're just going to do that about maybe six times. Or even less if you want. Once we are done, we are now going to extend one leg and then followed by the other one with a normal cat and cow. Okay. So I'm just going to extend my leg here. So this is going to create a little bit of rotation towards my, my spine. And then I'm just going to do a normal cat and count. So now you don't need to worry so much about the segmental movement. Uh, just do a normal cat and count just to mobilize the spine. And then you're just going to change. Now once we've done that, we are going to do some circle movement. Um, so our spine don't just uh, flex and extend, there's also like side bending and rotation movement as well. So what we are going to do is just we are going to circle in a clockwise manner. And then in an anti-clockwise manner. We can also add some side bending to our spine by wagging our tail. Imagine like you're a dog, you have a tail, you're just going to move the tail left and right. If you feel you can put something underneath your knees, if you feel uncomfortable, you can just do side bending. Okay. So if you can't swag your knees, uh, you can basically you can just do side bending to the left and side bending to the right. Okay. If you can, just move your knees as well so in the back this is how it looks like and then what we can do we can sit back a little bit to target more of a thoracic spine like a little bit like here and then we can do circle movement Then we can do some cat and cow here. So there is no right or wrong. You're just going to explore the movement any way you want. And then you can do a little bit like the chow pose. And you can arch your back and go forward and backward. And extend your back forward and backward. You're just trying to move your spine and play with it. And then now we are going to move our scapula, our shoulder blades. <sighs> so what you're going to do is uh, you're just going to do circle movement like this kind of movement. Protracting your shoulder blades and retracting your shoulder blades and then reverse it. And then if you want, you can just move one shoulder or alternate one shoulder with the other one. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do uh, is about thoracic mobility with a little bit of uh, spine mobility as well. So what you can do is um, just bend your knees to, into a 90-90 degrees position. With this hand, it's going to hold your legs so it stay down. And then you're just going to circle, do a big circle with your arms. Okay. 
So if you want, you can straighten your lower legs and then just do an opening. Bring the spine and the thoracic. This is another exercise to feel uh, the opening and closing of the vertebrae layer by layer. So it's like peeling off the layers. You can either find a wall or you can put a chair and put your knees on top of the chair if you want to activate more of the hamstrings, okay? So I'm just going to find a wall, but if you want to activate hamstring, just put your heel onto the chair, okay? So what you're going to do, you're just going to tuck your pelvic and then slowly come up all the way to your mid-back. Okay, so just here in the mid back, and then you're going to slowly peel off layer by layer, feel the vertebrae going one by one down to the floor. So the key is uh, slow movement and having a spinal awareness, okay? As you go down all the way, I want you to forward tilt your pelvic so you feel the arch in your back. Once you do that, again reverse by tilting it backwards, posterior tilting the pelvic and then lifting layer by layer, one by one, slowly come off the ground all the way to the mid back. So just below the scapula area and then slowly come down. If you were to use do this exercise with the chair, you might feel the engagement of the hamstring. Uh, maybe a little bit harder, but it's a lot better if you engage the hamstring. Again, once you come down here, I want you to anterior tilt the pelvic to form the arch in the back. And then one last time. All this exercise is about awareness of your spine. It's like uh, there's smudging going on in your brain, the representation of your homunculus, we are just clearing up uh, the picture that your mind has in your brain about your back. Now we are going to do um, something like a ninja turtle roll. We are trying to get our curve back in our thoracic spines all the way to the lumbar. So we are just doing some rolling movement. So this is what you're going to do. Basically, you're going to Use your hand and hold your legs, and then you're just going to roll. So all your spine is in contact with the ground rolling. Um, now we are going to do some hip movement to finish off. So we've done thoracic, we've done lumbar, now hip. So with the hip, we can just do a simple opening and closing. Okay, basically just like a dog, you're just opening your hip and then you're going to rotate the other way. Another one we can do is put yourself in the 90, 90. So it's not like this movement, it's a 90 degrees and a 90 degrees. If you want, you can use your hand for support and then you're just going to rotate. Okay, and rotate. So now this is in external, this is in internal rotation. And I've exchanged external, internal rotation. Once you get used to it, you can then not use your hand as a support and just rotate in. Once you've done that, if you want, um, you can do something like this. So again, 90, 
90 because this hip is in internal rotation we are going to encourage more internal rotation by lifting the heel okay so this is what you do you can lift a few times maybe three four times and then with the front leg because it's in external rotation I want you to lift the whole leg up okay so it's like this so again three four times and then you're going to switch okay lift the back leg to encourage internal lift the front leg to encourage external and if you want to stretch a little bit of your glutes in this area what you can do you're just going to lean forward so you can target different direction of the glutes by leaning forward here and leaning towards your feet okay and uh, lastly to finish off uh, we can do some thoracic exercise uh, so what I want you to do uh, go into a lunge position you can find a book or something that is square uh, all I need you to do is just to hold your both your hands come in together so the movement is only from the thoracic spine so I want you to squeeze the book or whatever that you have in your hand and then you're just going to rotate squeezing a little bit of your glutes and squeezing your hand both your hands and then you're just going to stay there and take two breaths maintaining a little bit of squeeze all the time just rotate your body left and right so I want you to feel your glutes are squeezing a little bit and your hands are squeezing a little bit and the whole purpose is about going slow it's not doing this kind of movement it's squeezing in the glutes and squeezing in the hands and so you get the movement focused more on the thoracic spine and if you want you can do this movement as well so with this movement I want your hip to shift outwards it's not just coming from the upper body it's also coming from moving your hips okay again maintaining a little bit of squeeze and a little bit of squeeze in your glutes and your shoulders and that's it for the mobility of your back